Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a Grammy award-winning producer, songwriter, recording artist, and TV star who has been bringing us hit records for more than 25 years. Wow. He is the power behind top artists like Mariah Carey, Usher, Lil Jon, Janet Jackson, and so many more. Yes. And that success is spreading to television, too. He's back with season five of his hit Lifetime series, The Rap Game. Yes. Take a look. This season on The Rap Game Remix. These kids have no idea what's in store for them. This time it's all about the battle. They want to get the chain. They got to step, 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 step up. Make sure y'all are ready for the storm. Yeah. Get out. You don't get in this competition with everything that you got. How bad do you want this? I'm ready to eat, son. Ooh. I ain't never seen a season like this. The rap game. Wow. Yeah. Please welcome the legendary Jermaine Dupri. Yeah. <laughs> Get the pillow together. What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. good. Hey, you smell good. You smell I'm like good. a okay. stop. Jermaine, how are you? I'm good. Are you? Yeah, doing well, doing well. Come on, this is you right here, sir. My God. Yes. Jermaine, you don't want to tell us what kind of cologne you're wearing. <laughs> I mean, just give me the, the little bit of it. Uh, 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 you smell uh, amazing. Yeah, you smell real good. You got it all going on. Uh, yeah, you do. Yes, he does. Yeah, you <laughs> but you got it all going on with the rap game. New yeah. season. Intense. Mm -hmm. My God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get a little bit into that a little bit later on. But okay. I got to tell you, some people think your last name is Dupree. Um, In our reality, it is it's not. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about that. Why did you choose to go with Dupree? Um, when I when I first got in the music industry or business or whatever, um, everybody had stage names. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So some rappers had like, I had no rap name, I had no MC nothing. So it's just like <laughs> trying to figure out what sounded right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it didn't sound good back then anyway. Yeah. You know? But it's now. A, I mean, it sounds regular to me now. Right. Yeah. Don't you know? And that's I mean, your, it's real. My, it's, it's my real that's name. That's your middle name. Yeah, it's my middle name. So. Yeah, I did that. I'm Rashawn Ali. That's my middle name. I did a Jermaine Dupree. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. So of course you are known for developing stars and making hit records. What does it take to still stay relevant in this game? Because you, you obviously, you have a, a formula for for developing talent. Um, I, I say it's the same thing that you start with. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people come and they put a whole lot of work into the game and then once they get successful they stop mm -hmm. if, if you want that same success you got to do the same thing yeah I, that's what i believe yeah. yeah yeah now music runs in your family your father was in the music business still in, still in the music business yeah um and he introduced you to music so what is what are some of the greatest lessons that you've learned from him mm. um I, I i've learned more about just the business um mm -hmm. of just about being around people and just um, him taking me to rehearsals of artists when I was younger. And he taught me how to play drums too. I okay. forgot that. So mm -hmm. just the drummer in me mm -hmm. uh, and the producer side of that. And we had um, a lot of arguments as far as like songs and creating songs in my early mm -hmm. age. So I'm sure a lot of that, you know, channeled me to go and you know, try to write better. And yeah, you know, try, try to be better. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and then at 16 years old, uh, you discovered. Crisscross, yeah. and so by wow. 19 and 20, you like had a whole bunch of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but how did that? How did it, you allow it or not allow it to affect you? And how did it change the trajectory of your your business career, your music I career? I mean, it definitely affects you. You mm. can't you can't um, <laughs> not allow it to affect you. I mean, because um, I, I was the first of my you know first generation money, first of my family to even know what this type of success is. So. Um, you just have to. I learn from other people's mistakes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just paid attention to a lot of other things. Yeah, other people, yeah, so. yeah. Good, 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 good. Well, let's talk a little bit about the rap game. And let's what, talk about the rap game. Why <laughs> did you choose to go after a younger market and give young people an opportunity? Um, one because this that demo, twelve to sixteen, twelve to seventeen. That's a very like. Um, forgotten demo mm -hmm. um you know we expect that group of kids to buy records we mm -hmm. expect that group of kids to come to concerts we expect that group of kids to do everything but it's nothing for them the concerts ain't really for them mm -hmm. uh -huh. the club's not for them mm -hmm. um and most of the music ain't for them that's true you know what i mean so it's a it's a demo that that don't nobody really pays that much attention to so when i did crisscross i was you know brought to it was brought to my attention oh 
people don't pay attention to these kids. That's why they're so successful. Right. Um, they need more of this. They yeah. need more of this. So yeah. mm -hmm. as I was going through things that I could do, you know, people never saw my process of, of signing artists and putting them together. Mm -hmm. So this was perfect for that. Good, wow. good. good. Well, the rap game premieres Thursday at 9 p.m. Yeah. on Lifetime. If you're staying with us yes. for the whole hour, Jermaine Dupri is sticking around. And of course, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Hey. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's good. Welcome back to our show. It's called Sister Circle Live, and we are still here with the one and only Jermaine Dupri. Yep. Yes. Yep. Jermaine, you are everywhere, <laughs> and you are all over this year's Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. yes. Why was it important for you to represent Atlanta? Um, Because I've been doing it for mm -hmm. as long as people could possibly remember, but um, I've been doing this, bringing, trying to get people to come to Atlanta, trying to put attention on this city mm -hmm. before Atlanta was even cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Before people even wanted to come to Atlanta for Super Bowl, you know, um, before the BET Awards was mm -hmm. in Atlanta, before mm -hmm. they was making movies here, um, everything, you mm -hmm. know? Um, so I, it's, it's just something that I, I wanted to be a part of, and they just, they asked me, so I was just like, oh, okay. I mean, they make it, yeah, it's a no-brainer yeah. yeah. at that point. Yeah. At that point, yeah. So we're really excited about you because it's a plethora of concerts going on with with Atlanta artists, and I'm so glad you're doing that. Yeah. yeah. So so glad yeah. you're doing that. Also happy for you, the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Yes. In 49 years, there's only been two uh, hip hop artists or people that have come from that genre, and you're one of them. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Crazy. Yeah. I mean, but but uh, <laughs> also old. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you, you, you gotta you gotta be writing songs for 20 years in order to even get on the ballot. Mm -hmm. So it's not really about um, so much about. I mean, it is talent, but still, there's a lot of people that don't get a 20 year career. Yeah. So it just makes me look. It makes me feel old, and it's, I'm accomplished at this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And music that matters, that yeah. counts, yeah. it's good, mm -hmm. it makes people happy. It does. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. uh, happy and unhappy. <laughs> Um, we watched the Lifetime series. I'm sure everybody has watched the Lifetime series. Well, maybe. Um, Surviving R. Kelly. Jermaine, you have worked with him. You've been in the industry for a very, very long time. What is your take on everything that's been going on for for years, really? But your take on, on what's going on now? I mean, well, let me, for, uh, that's, that's not one artist I haven't worked with, by the way. Oh, oh you have not? Yeah, oh, I, I thought you worked with Yeah, I've never worked with R. Kelly like that before. Um, um, my take on it is I have to clean my slate because I I deal with kids and pe I I had mm -hmm. people say all kind of crazy stuff you know um, about me always working with individuals and young and I just want to make sure people understand I don't play them games right. I don't condone none of that abuse um, so I have to clear you know I want to make sure I'm I'm clear <laughs> yeah, that, right. you know what I mean because I I feel like um, what I'm hearing from other people around what I'm seeing on Instagram is people are starting to think that this is something that's happening in the, in the music industry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> not in my music industry. Right. It might be happening in somebody else's place, but not in my studio and not it's not something that's just going around and people just turning their head at. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like I said, I, I didn't see the, sh the whole show um, to know, but I saw some things that I didn't really um, I don't condone, so I'm mm. just, I'm, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna push the fact that yeah. I'm not, <laughs> that don't, we don't play them games. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and, I, and I'm a father of daughters, I don't have but no sons, yeah. you That's, know what yeah. I mean? So, so how do you make sure that the, you know, the uh, the children that are, uh, you know, under your tutelage are protected? Yes. You know, mm -hmm. what do you, what, are, what systems do you have in place to make sure everything is good? Me, yes. you know what I mean? Um, I'm 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 the person that they gotta watch. If you y'all, I ain't never had no police records, and I ain't never had none of that. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't. I pray to God I don't get in throw trouble. But I mean, I'm try, I try. I try to walk this this line that mm -hmm. if I'm not, if I'm wrong, then you know they gonna follow the wrong. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, mm -hmm. you know. As long as y'all know me, y'all ain't heard nothing about me. That's like, right. That's, that's, that's true. true. Try, you Absolutely. Know. You've always had a stellar name in the, in the industry. Uh, let's just uh, switch gears a little bit. Let's get back to the rap game. Come yes. on now. Uh, we saw the opening, uh, at the opening of the show. My God. Y'all over there turning up. Why is it? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be popping. I'm serious. I'm like, really? What can we expect this season? Well, this season, um, you can see my frustration for the first time. Mm. Really? Um, Because I... Um, this season, I, I I feel like I was catfished. 
What you mean? What you mean? Oh, oh I'm sorry. That was so. <laughs> oh, oh, what you so mean? Right. Oh, what I mean by that is that when I the way I pick these kids is that I go off of you know YouTube, Instagram, see activity. Right. And what I forgot to realize is that. These are videos that people can alter and make mm -hmm. themselves look good and mm -hmm. do things this that, and third. So when I bring these kids to Atlanta, the first thing I always try to do is have them perform, whether it be for me, my crew, or audience. This group wasn't really that good. Mm. Um, and I was really, really frustrated. And you, you see it. And the thing about this show is it's not a reality show that's scripted. Right. Mm -hmm. It happens based off my heart. What what happens happens based off my heart. And once I was sitting there, I was just like, oh my God. Well, you gotta battle this person. And you gotta battle this person. If y'all wanna stay in the house, y'all gotta battle. It just turned into this whirlwind of just me trying to see who's definitely better than the next person. Yeah. So how do you, what kind of advice do you give the kids and their parents? Yes. In coming real, into real, this house? Real advice. The, 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 the truest truth. advice mm -hmm. you can get. Mm -hmm. you know, it's raw um, too, huh? <laughs> it, I mean, it's not, people think that, but it's, I mean, that's how it was given to me. Like, when when I first found Criss Cross, we found, I found him at the mall. They weren't ready. Mm -hmm. um, it took two years to get to become the Criss Cross mm -hmm. that y'all saw. Um, and a lot of times that's what these kids don't understand. YouTube don't make you good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Message. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So a lot of kids just think just because they put their videos up and they get these likes or whatever you want to call it, then they good. That's yeah, not, uh -huh. that don't equal good. Jermaine. Uh -uh. It's equal good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Um, we, we know that now a lot of uh, record labels don't, they don't believe in artist development anymore. Are you really still, like you did with Criss Cross, taking the time out to kind of just horn their skill set and give them the guidance that they need 100%. and actually it, developing them? Yes. I yes. mean, one of the questions, if somebody's watching, they always ask me, what happens to the winners? The winners, just because they win on my show, does not mean they're ready yet. Yes. Okay. That's the one thing that people don't understand. It's like, Step one. I'm still sitting around saying, you're not better than Bow Wow. You're not mm. better than Chris Cross. You're not better than Brett. You're not better than you. You got a long list you of people work. that you got to be you better gotta put in. You got to work. You got to put in the work. work. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to put in the work. Part. So, so I, I need us, you know, a favor. You know, you got all these Super Bowl people coming in and all these <laughs> artists or whatever. You, you know, you're going to bring them back to the set? You want me to bring all the people? Yeah, we want all of to them. To the sister circle. <laughs> <laughs> At least half of them. I'm, okay, I was going to say, you, don't, you, know, you, do, you do know me. I, don't, <laughs> right. I will bring everybody no, up. What the <laughs> 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 you Jermaine is on booking. You're on booking. That's right. 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 We thank you so much. Right. Of course, thank the rap game premieres Thursday at 9 p.m. on This Thursday. Live. That's right.